Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Elliot's Tale. Now, Elliot has had a few rough days as of late, and <clears throat> as some of you are correct, I have been giving him a hard time. He is meant to be resting, he is meant to be recovering, and even though we are resting and we are recovering, he is just not getting enough time to get those arms feeling better. They are still bad. They're still not doing so good. So I think we I think we need to get out of here. Now I want to be able to continue working on our little pet project, um, doing our foldable cart, but I think that's going to be easier doing that once we're actually feeling all together better. So I think we're actually going to leave the place behind. Um, we are still very hungry though, this is the only problem. We are hungry, so that could be an issue. What are you actually? A fungal tower. Super. Great. Well, I'm guessing that Elliot managed to spot that with his binoculars uh, a day or two before. And you know what? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So whoever, if any of you know what that is, you know how potentially amazing this could be for Elliot right now. Now, I was going to talk about us taking the vehicle and traveling all the way back to the motel, which is where the majority of our gear is. It's where Elliot could rest and heal up, but but I'm salivating at this. Now, there is a fungal tower nearby, which is bad. So we're gonna have to keep a lookout for spores. And it would probably be preferable for us to have something over our mouth very, very soon. But we are still far enough away that I think we should be okay. <clears throat> I was gonna wanna go back to the garage anyway to collect a few things before we go. But um, this here, this thing that Elliot has managed to spy off his binoculars just across the swamp is an LMOE, which stands for Last Man on Earth Shelter. Yeah. Now, there is a chance that there could already be someone there. Someone built the shelter, and they built it to survive this. So they probably aren't going to be, well, welcoming. To outsiders. You're the kind of person that was building the shelter before the world went to crap. So, I think it's worth us investigating at the very, very least. Although, we are going to want to do it at night. We're going to want to do it in the dark because, well, that's when Elliot does have his advantage. I am so excited. I'm so excited by the prosperity. Like, just, just, this could be somewhere where Elliot could live. This is where somewhere where Elliot could survive. We would have to go back to the motel eventually, but this is somewhere that he might be able to survive now. There's a high chance we'll be able to find a decent amount of food there as well. The only issue is that we need to get through the town to get there. And that is a problem. Now, the time is currently 3.45, which is obviously still quite... Uh, <clears throat> well, early on in the afternoon. So we are going to have to wait for a little bit. Um, we Our hunger's not going to get any better though, this is the only problem. It's not going to get any better at all. Uh, well, you know what, I'm half tempted to take that fungicide because that might actually come in handy. We're going to take it with us just in case. Uh, now we did deal with all these bodies here, as far as I'm aware. And I really don't want to have to fight any more of them. Um, we do still have our arm splints. They are damaged, but they still will be healing our arms. So we are just going to... We're going to stick with the fire axe in our hands for now. Let's see. Now, I'm trying to remember what, what the... Oh, oh, hello. With our binoculars, we spy... Someone else. Cheryl McFadden. Cheryl McFadden. Well, maybe, maybe this is Cheryl's home. Maybe Cheryl resides in the um, LMOE quite possibly that does remain to be seen I would like to make it back to our vehicle though I think I think we should try for that at the very least so we can see a zombie child to the southeast so let's just come up a little bit further see if we can kind of sneak around at the moment just kind of see what's going on outside start to move out Okay, so we have a zombie child, a grabber zombie, and a skeleton. Uh, so they're all to the northwest. Let's just zoom out for a second. Okay, so the grabber zombie is quite close. Now, I said that I, I, and I mean it, I really don't want to be getting Elliot into combat here. But they are so close that I think we are just going to have to deal with them. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait for the child zombie and the grabber zombie to come. I think there's a high chance she's just going to go through that, that second window. Yeah. Wrecked. And this is the grabber zombie. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Very well done, Elliot. Very well done. Fletcher's friend. We can't, we can't learn anything from it yet, but I feel like I've already got that book. I feel like we've got that already. That's so frustrating. We must do, because we've read it, right? We can actually see what we can do with it. No, we definitely have it. We definitely have it. Okay. Uh, we'll smash that corpse really quick. Just see what she has. Damn. I was hoping that she might have some lollies, some sweets. Just, you know, kind of anything, really. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to try and see if we can make it across the road just for now. What, what did we park up to? A veterinarian clinic. I never did check that out, did I? Hmm. Okay, I just want to try and listen just for a second. I just want to see what's going on with that skeleton at the moment. Um, I don't know. He, no, he can't actually see us. He's quite far away. So I think as long as we kind of stick down here nice and low, we should be okay. Now to the west, we do see a zombie, but he's quite far off as well. So, great. Acidic zombie. Northeast. Let's see exactly where. Okay, so quite far off, but I, I do want to get an idea of the direction so it's essentially where we're wanting to head it's it's, it's kind of over by our vehicle which is really unfortunate really quite unfortunate hmm um we are actually going to come back to the garage don't worry i'm definitely going to come back to the garage i think for the time being we're going to try and avoid this other person but no we're going to avoid them <laughs> that was me thinking that's a potential food source right there but uh, no, we aren't in the kind of condition to take on an NPC, so we're going to try and avoid them if we can. The acidic zombie would be really nice if we could avoid them. I'd almost rather fight the skeleton over them, so skeleton slash zombie. So let's go, let's go see if we can fight them instead. I would much rather... What is that that's next to this zombie? Let's have a look. Something in the bush. That must be one of the... Oh, it's a blueberry bush. Hmm. No, that's interesting. Okay, let's actually... No, no, let's not head over there. No, let's definitely not head over there. Okay, so there's a lot more to the north now. Uh, they're all in the forest currently. And they aren't actually coming for us, which is good. So it's, it's really just that acidic zombie. Through some battery. What do you got in your... What do you got in your boot here? I want to see. I am kind of trying to stay aware of the acidic zombie. And just whether or not we're going to be able to move around them. It, it is getting slightly later in the day, so we might be able to make it in here without being noticed. So let's see if we can activate that makeshift crowbar of ours. Oh, it's just unlocked. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, let's uh, come over here and just very cautiously close these. And let's see if we can have something to eat. Fantastic. Let's just eat the curry sauce by itself because, you know, YOLO. It's going to make us upset. That's okay. Oh, no, we enjoyed it. Nice. Cool. Okay. Great. Uh, dehydrated vegetables. Uh, yep. It would be nice to hydrate them. Um, we've got some clean water. We'll take that. Blueberry jam, rotten. So we're going to start finding more and more food that is rotten. Um, don't be surprised with that. It's, it's just going to happen. Uh, let's get slaked. And let's keep on moving. Um, the dehydrated vegetables we will take with us. It will remain edible for an incredibly long time, which is good. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to allow ourselves to get a little bit slaked. Um, and we're going to eat them. Sorry, get ourselves a little bit dehydrated because um, obviously it's dehydrated vegetables, so they're going to make us dehydrated. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Let's have a look in a second. It sounds like there's some noises going on downstairs and it sounds like there's actually someone coming through that window so let's just stay ready for a second no maybe, maybe that's underneath maybe that's underneath okay okay let it auto save and we'll just continue uh a kipper okay all right uh no i think we're okay we don't think we need anything else the cargo pants fit and what are, what's ours at the moment ours, ours are fine it's okay Okay. Do we have anything in these bookcases? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's move up to this room then. The bathroom. And there's nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. We are going to have a look downstairs really quick. 
Um, just a, just a quick peek, just a peek. Okay, what do we got? Bruised sewer snake corpse. Okay. Oh, hello, decayed zombie. Let's um, I know, I know, I said, I said no combat, but when we have a decayed zombie in a position like that, I kind of feel like we need to take advantage of it. Let's just check out the rest of this basement, just nice and slowly. We don't need to flash our light. We can just very cautiously move our way through. Chunk of steel. Okay. Ceramic armor plate is tempting to take. It's kind of heavy though. You know what? I, th I think we'll see if we can take it with us for now. Quite a few shopping bags down here. And just the sewer snake corpse. Although I don't know how long ago that was. Um, nor the butchering for now. Oh yes, stop butchering. Hello fat zombie. Let's, uh, let's go for the table. You see we're still not very fast. Nice, good hit, Elliot. Very nice. We start to shake uncontrollably. Not so good. Are we cold or our arms are cold? Shakes. I thought that said snakes. I thought it said effect snakes. And I thought, well, so Elliot's got a little bit of an Indiana Jones thing going on. But uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, what am, what am I doing here? I turn on caps locks by accident. Uh, nothing we really want there. The long string is just handy for crafting in general. Still shaking? Um, so why do we actually have the shakes? So I should have a look. Your hands just won't stop shaking. Is it because we're cold? Possibly. Could also be uh, withdrawals. I don't think we're addicted to anything yet, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it's all rotten. I'm not surprised. It could have been killed recently. It was worth us actually checking. Let's see what else we've got? More shopping bags and some marbles. No. Um, electronic safe. Okay, so I think if we had a Hack Pro with us, we might be able to do it. There's a USB that has it, but uh, it's not going to help us with that lock, I don't think. Unless we could put a... Unless we could put a USB into it, I don't think you can. I don't think it would have a USB port. You could do that with a computer, yeah. We'll take it, and let's just we'll go over and have a look. Can we activate the USB at all? No, I don't think so. No, that's fine. Let us get back up then. We're still very hungry, which is not so great. I was hoping this house would have something for us. Um, but it has safety for now, which is, I guess, something. Let's have a look outside the window to see what's going on. We're not seeing anyone right now, so that's kind of a good thing. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so that, that, that acidic zombie's kind of close. I hate them so much. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. We're going to have to kill it if we want to get back to our car. We can't really go running around it because it's just going to attract the attention of other zombies. So, annoyingly enough, we kind of have to bring it our way. At least, no, at least it's an acidic zombie. It's not a corrosive zombie. The corrosive are literally the worst. That's not too bad. Got a little acidy. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Now we do not want to smash the corpse. We just want to try and butcher it. Make sure it doesn't come back. Okay, let's step back inside. Just get a catch a breath. Let's get a move on again. Now I know a few of you are wanting me to activate the um, activate the artifact. We're not going to do that just yet. Okay, so our car should be in the field, and I would also like to see if we can break into that um, veterinary clinic. It's starting to get later in the day, which is good. Okay, we're not seeing any dead yet, just the swimmer zombies to the south. Okay, damn, our poor car got a little bit beat up. We've got a hazmat zombie to the northeast, okay. How are we doing here? Pretty good. Pretty good all up. I know, I, I, for the life of me, cannot remember exactly what got with us. Okay, nice. Flatbreads, let's eat the, f the flatbreads. Let's see what else we got as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. All of our weapons, good, good, good. 
Okay, let's see. What do we got? Let's have the flatbreads. We'll just eat them. It's not going to be nice, but uh, it's something. It's going to dehydrate us a little bit as well. Still very hungry. Come on, man. Okay, hungry. That's a little bit better. Mm, okay. I don't think we can get much better than that. <clears throat> the toastums we can't really do too much with. We can't cook them very easily right now. Yeah, see how the, the, the nutrition versus quench isn't that great. But uh, we, will be, we will be able to do something with them. I just really want to try and get into that veterinary clinic. But, uh, oh, okay, so the tough zombie is down. It's probably actually the one that we killed by the artifact. Looks like it's in the same kind of area. Let's just go and close our door for now. I'm much more in favor of taking on the tough zombie versus the hazmat zombie. We did smash all these corpses, right? I'm sure we did. Yeah, pulped. Good, 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 good. Okay. So let's start moving up towards the vet. Tough zombie is going to come for us, so let's just use the bush. Let's, just, let's zoom in a little bit as well. Ah, oh, not so great. That's okay. And that's definitely okay. Yeah, we can see because he's naked, he was um, definitely one that revived there. Okay, let's see if we can break in. Go ahead and try and pry it open. Here we go. Okay, inside the vets. Oh, and it's locked. Gallon of ammonia. Some more fungicide. This town is gonna need it. Ooh. Is it? It's a safe, right? Let's, um, go grab the stethoscope that's in there. Just watching out for that hazmat zombie still, trying to stay away from its view. Okay. Should be in here, right? Stethoscope. There we go. Great. Now, I don't know if we need the lockpicks as well. We probably do. But, uh, no, no. In saying that, if you've got a stethoscope, you should be able to hear inside it's, uh, clicking. Attempt to crack the safe. Okay. That gave me a heart attack. I'm sure it gave you a heart attack as well. I thought the safe exploded, but I don't think it did. I think that explosion came from outside. Let's ignore for now. Yeah, to the east. This isn't real. The mini nuke hack cannot be real, right? I hope not, otherwise we're dead, but we're hearing a lot of explosions. Are we hallucinating the explosions as well? Are we having audio hallucinations? Because right now, we are hallucinating normally. The world takes on a dreamlike quality and we're seeing fractals across our vision. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of things. But this is also taking us a long time to try and crack the safe. Your mother. Oh. Okay, this is taking way longer than I thought. And the safe opens. What was inside the safe? Gamma globin shot. Nice. <clears throat> we'll definitely take that. It's an immune booster. There's morphine. An antifungal drug. Perfect, especially with fungal things going on. First aid kits. Yes. Um, and medical tape as well, which we'll definitely take. It's a, it's similar to, to duct tape. Okay. Um, I want to see if we can use the, the first aid kits on our arms at all. I don't know whether or not we can. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, use item. First aid kit too big to pick up right now. Okay, let's go ahead and just close this door for now. All those explosions are... Yeah, they're getting to me. They're getting to me. <laughs> Um, okay, so there are a few things that we don't actually need to have with us right now. Uh, you know what, let's have some, let's have some juice, get slaked first of all. I, you see our speed is better now, which is good. Got that oxycodone. Under the hood, we can still read some more of that. The fungicide we're gonna drop, we don't need to have that on us right now. Uh, but I still don't think it's gonna be enough to pick up, oh no it is, actually. To get the med, and not enough to get the medical tape right now, but, uh, We'll just see if there is anything we can do with those first aid kits. Okay, no, so we can't do anything for, um... We can't actually do anything for the left arm and right arm at all. 
Um, and I'm, I'm fine with the torso and the right leg and rest. But we will definitely take those with us, 100%, 100%. Um, yeah, maybe I should have dropped a few more things in the car before we came here. We don't need the ceramic plate wherever that is. Let's see. Go ahead and drop it. Should be down the bottom. Peep hole we don't need. Uh, ceramic armor plate we don't need either. And we'll drop that long string. Man, that medical tape though. I mean, there's a lot of it, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if we can repair our, uns our arm splints with it. It might be worth actually checking. I guess that's tailoring though, right? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. We still got the welder with us? Shit. Okay, yeah. We, sh we really need to drop that stuff off. Like hand drill as well. We don't need those things with us. So let's see if we can make it back. Um, the sun is starting to set, so that's good. Things aren't going to be able to see as far. We are getting tired. So. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. Swim Whoa, no. Yug. Okay, we aren't seeing that, right? That's not a real thing. An enormous flat... An, an enormous white flat worm that burrows beneath the earth. Its mouth is lined with pointed teeth. And it's covered in fine hairs which can be shed and fired like darts. I really hope that's not real. This is one of the really bad things about... Um, one of the really bad things about these hallucinations is that this could be real. Unlikely. But there's a damn good chance it could be real. Yeah. Don't like it. Don't like it. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of some stuff though. Do need to have that with us right now. Drop off some of the bottles perhaps. Frying pan, hand drill. Uh, toolbox we will definitely keep because that's always going to be handy. Stethoscope we don't need right now and the welder. That will give us a lot. Okay. Still trying to approach. Let's just go behind this just in case. I don't I don't think it's real. Yeah, we're, we're still hallucinating. Yep. I felt confident enough about that. <laughs> Only just. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're real. What? He must have come back from light. He, uh, he, he just revived. Okay, so we must have missed one. But there's still some very loud explosions happening. Okay, luckily it is getting late, though, so... Alright, not happy about being wet? Yeah. Ah, right. Vet clinic. I'm glad there's no Rottweilers or anything. Dog food, cat food. I mean... I it's something, right? <laughs> Shit, we might just eat it now. Oh no, we got some meat jerk, some beef jerky, meat jerky. Okay, doesn't say what kind of meat. Nice. Uh, it looks like it's some medical gauze as well, so we'll take that. Um, don't need another stethoscope. That is fine. Um, yeah, I'm half tempted to take some of that food with us. Nothing in here, but you know what is here? is chain link fences which essentially that's like wire so if i did want wire i could get wire from that but right now i'm not super concerned about that what i'm more concerned about is getting to that lmoe yeah I definitely definitely want to do that okay all right let's see what do we got consume item uh we can't consume the ones on the floor the dog food the cat food you know what i think we're actually going to take some of the dog food with us and we're going to try and keep it um there's not actually that much of it so i probably won't worry about that okay it's locked so let's go ahead and try and pry it open okay what do we got stethoscope again okay right let's uh that's our way in what do you got here? Chocolate drink? Oh, and a radio. We'll take the radio. I'm tempted to turn it on. We'll see. We won't do that right now, though. Yeah, do it. Give us a little bit of, um... We should take that with us as well. Uh, what the hell? A beaver? I don't think it's a real beaver, but is that... that is it a Pokeball? <laughs> what, is, what is that doing there? <laughs> what is a Pokeball doing there? <laughs> 
Is that, is that a real beaver? It just seems to be sitting there. It's not doing much. Um, okay, let's see. Pet carrier. Okay, because it's a pet carrier, right? I, I get it. It carries the pets. It's a pokeball. Very funny chest doll. Very funny. I like it. <laughs> I wonder if it's... No, the, see, the volume is 5 liters, so it's actually quite large. Uh, so, yeah, not what we're after. But we will take that. We will take the dog whistle. And we will take the dog food. But I think that's it. And we'll eat that jerky pretty much right away. Stop picking up. No. The beaver is approaching. Terrifying. We'll not be able to finish it all. Oh, that's clean water. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where's my jerky? Nope, that's not it. I, I, I will, in time, get this. <laughs> my fingers are just not wanting to be on board right now. Okay, alright. And the beaver has disappeared. It was a fake beaver. And there's no windows here. So we're seeing an Amagara horror to the north. Well, you know, we did see those other horrors though, so there's a chance that something like this could be real. A hellish, vaguely humanoid horror. Two, sto two stories tall. Two stories tall. It's giant. Its limbs deformed to unrecognizable gr out outgrowths. I don't think this is here now, because this is the thing, it's still so early in the cataclysm. Yeah, it's just not smashing through the windows. It would be able to smash if that was the case. Uh, we'll take that, because that will help with... Uh, dodging surely dance 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 and let's see we'll take that and we will also take that thank you cool this is this place is pretty much cleared now hacksaw okay dust mask hydrogen peroxide i don't know what we're actually going to use that for right now so that's um that's this place kind of cleared out and i will be happy to leave we're still seeing the amigara horror which is not so nice and we can see that it's actually getting late now which i'm actually in favor of so let's head back to our vehicle let's not turn on the flashlight let's just find the vehicle and then we're going to go for a bit of a ride i'm going to drop some of these in the back first though so drop like so dog food dog whistle radio uh, we'll hold on to that just for now. Let's see. We don't need to have two packs of cigarettes with us. Same with the disinfectant. Okay. Drop that in there as well. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Fungal ant. See, that could be real. I'm going to say no. Okay. Nope, just our imagination. Let's jump into the car. And I know it's night time, so the battery isn't going to last forever, but it should last at least to get us to the garage. And when we get to the garage, we're going to be able to pick up our things. So we're going to do that before we head to the last man on earth shelter. Um, and let's see. Let's turn on the headlights. Boom. Fantastic. Which is also going to use more energy as well. So yeah, we need to... We need to keep an eye on our fuel gauge and damn I really don't want to be hitting these bushes here so we're going to see if we can find a path through where we aren't going to hit them okay start turning a little bit more heavily a little bit more start coming back around a little bit further there we go not so bad we're not consuming too much energy yet Okay, so we've got two feral runners, and ah, oh, there's a minefield down there. That's why they're making so much noise. Okay, let's see. Let's just double check the map again. So, ideally, we'll come around the back of it. So, we want to just kind of go around them right now, but we also want to make sure that we have enough speed that when we hit them, because we will, we do it with enough force that we kill them. There we go. Okay, now we need to start turning. Just like so. Okay, we're still on full power, which is great. Let's have a look at that map again. Okay, we need to go a little bit further. That's the garage there. Okay, great. Fantastic. Gozu, you're a hallucination, right? Please be a hallucination. <laughs> okay, there's a wreck down there, but we can make our way around that as well. That was a real giant wasp. Okay. No, it disappeared. Okay, great. Shriekling, yeah, I don't, I don't even know anymore what's real and what isn't. 
We do have a subway down there though. Oh, there's so many goodies we're going to be able to get from that. Which uh, I, I think we definitely should. Okay, let's just pull up a little bit further. And we're going to stop the car right here. So let's go ahead, turn off the headlights, and let's stop driving. Okay, so now we just need to do pretty simply, we're just going to wait for the, there we go, everything's lined up again. We're going to come back into our little home here, take everything that we need out of it. Just make sure that there is nothing in these blocks here, it does not look like it. So we're doing a little bit of work. Electric polisher. Yeah, see, I don't think we need that. Um, th this I would like to be able to take. I would like to be able to take the vehicle. I really would. See, the thing is, like, we can drag it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so we can drag that portable generator around, but um, we won't be able to, like, wheel that onto our car, unfortunately. And while it's nice, it would be great to have. I think we're going to have to pass it up, unfortunately. Our poor bicycle that we've kind of taken apart as well. I think what we need to do is just get all of these bits and pieces in one area. M1911 will be nice for us to just hold on to. Flaming Eye. That's got to be fake, right? Flaming Eyes, they're very bad. Very, very bad. But you're usually going to find those near portals. And I don't think there's any portals nearby. I hope. Okay, so we want to first of all get everything on the same square as us, so just easily transferring everything across, just like so. Same thing there. Move the put the moving lamp over there. Okay. So we'll just start shifting everything together. Like that. And then shift everything from there to there. And then it's just the jumper cables, right? Ah, and a few other bits and pieces. Giant mosquito, no. And you're fake. I knew you're fake. I'm pretty sure this is everything. I don't think we left anything up here from memory. Just the hoodie. And the welding goggles, I'm pretty sure we already have a pair of welding goggles, but you should, it, you should always have at least three or four because you will always forget. And uh, that's there, that's how that happens. Okay, so our car is just down here, right? Okay. Alright, so let's just start going like so. And we're just going to move bit by bit. Um, oh, is that a real soldier ant? Okay, he's still hurting us. And then he disappears, okay. He was a much more persistent one it would seem let's try that again move everything across now it is going to take quite a while for us to do this so it's 10 12 at the moment let's see how much yeah it's, it's, it takes a few minutes to actually move everything but um this this really is the fastest way for us to do this right now let's just start moving down okay we're nearly there nearly there we need to actually move it onto our square now and then from here we should be able to put it into the boot. Now this is hoping that we can actually fit everything in there. Let's have a look. Uh, the capacity, yeah that should be enough. That should be fine, or close to fine at least. Yep, it doesn't say anything about it falling on the ground, so that's good. We're going to have one last look in here. Just to see if there is anything that we are forgetting. I know that we were working on our frame, but we aren't going to be able to do that much. Um, let's just check, I want to check what that is really quick. No, just an engine. Just a basic engine. Okay. Well that is us ready to go. We have pretty much everything that we left in this town here. And what we're going to be doing next is heading down to this last man on earth shelter. But guys and gals, I'm so sorry. That is going to be next episode. Um, I feel like we've, we've, we've done enough. We've accomplished a decent amount today. And I only got in a few fights with Elliot, only a few, so that's that's better than before. Um, we are definitely going to visit that subway before we leave because we're going to be able to get a hell of a lot of, you know, a hell of a lot of good things from the vending machine. So we're going to be able to get drinks and hopefully maybe some foods. It's just going to be snack food, but it's better than nothing. So I hope you'll join me for the next one. I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, 
Stay tuned.